Hi, hi, everybody, and happy Saturday. Today, I wanted to have a conversation about my incontinence and how it relates to my being 24-7 ABDL. So I've been 24-7 ABDL for over two years now, or is, is it is it three? I'm, I think I'm almost to three. Um, but yeah, so I get, I've done some videos about how to condition yourself and how to wet your diaper and what diaper dependency means to me. Um, but for this video, I'm just going to kind of do a deep dive into the workings of my body and talk about my incontinence and how much of it is medical and how much of it is because I just decide to be a diaper baby. Because it's about half and half. Um, whenever I first started wearing diapers, I had some slight incontinence issues from some kidney issues that I have. As the years have gone by, my condition with my renal disease has gotten a bit worse and that's affected the levels of control I have a lot, um, whether it has to do with kidney stones that I've had to have surgically removed, or just the really bad kidney infections that I seem to get at the drop of a hat. Um, my kidneys just don't function really, really good, and that's somehow connecting and relating to all of my pee stuff. So urinarily, I'm urge incontinent is what I would claim um, because I have a couple of second warning whenever I feel it kind of traveling and af after that few seconds you know it's it's traveled and it's coming out of me so I don't really have uh, a real awareness of it or control of it um, I don't think that my bladder is like relaxed 24-7 uh, it sort of just kind of releases at random a lot of times, specifically when I stand up. I think sometimes whenever I'm like sitting down um, or like staying in the same position for a long time, uh, my body just doesn't really realize that it has to go. And then once I move or shift, my bladder realizes, oh, hey, it's full. Let's just and it releases. So that has gotten I, I have gotten less control over that over the last few years and I would say it's probably a decently solid mix of my kidney issues and me allowing myself to be comfortable with that incontinence that that gives me because I feel like for a really long time I had kidney issues and I tried really hard to just kind of ignore that they were a thing that was happening and it, it got worse and I mean it's always just kind of <laughs> seems to have been getting worse but I haven't had a kidney issue in a little while now so hopefully you know I'm on, I'm on the upswing but I am can't control when I go pee so that leads us into the second part of diaper dependency which is poop I poop my pants and um, I, I, whenever I started two years ago, two and a half years ago with it, I did have control and that was just a choice and I would say still to this day it is still mostly a choice. Um, I, <laughs> I have a degree, like a certain level of urge incontinence when it comes to my bowels I think. Um, I don't have good control over it. Again, I've got a few seconds once I feel stuff moving around and you know, then I'm, then I'm going potty. So realistically, if I did want to try and make it to the toilet every time, I might could just cause I'm home most of the time. Um, but I choose to be diaper dependent for my messes just as much as I am for wets. So. I, as 
as much as I have like some urge control issues with my bowels, um, I don't think that's a medical incontinence as much as my urinary is. I like to think that I choose to poop my pants. Thank you. Um, <laughs> and I know that's a really weird distinction to make, but I feel like in my mind, even if I'm not choosing like, oh, hey, I want to wet myself all the time. I'm just a helpless baby who just wets myself all the time. And that's just who I am. Um, and even if I choose that, I know, you know, medically I do have that problem. So for me, deciding to poop my pants is just kind of me taking control of that. Like, like by choosing to mess in my diapers and take on my full 24 seven thing, I'm, I feel like I'm sort of taking back some of the control that my original urinary incontinence was kind of giving me. I don't know if that makes any sense, but I feel like it's a choice for me um, because I choose to mess my 24 7 diaper dependency is a choice because I'm an ABDL my taste for diapers and the way that I wear them is a choice because I'm an, an adult baby to some degree I feel like it has to be a choice you know um, yeah so I, I feel like I'm kind of on the line of both. I'm sort of medically incontinent. I'm sort of just a 24-7 lifestyler. I love my lifestyle and I don't mind it. But I get a lot of questions from people about like if I'm really incontinent or not and how incontinent I am and if it's actually a choice. If I look lost control because of my ABDL lifestyle um, and I will say that you know if you get yourself and your body used to just following its physical instincts like you feel like you have to pee then you pee when you feel like you have to poop then you poop um, your body can get really used to stuff like that but I don't necessarily think that's incontinence um, but it can create a, a degree of urge in condense, I think, which just kind of limits the amount of time you have to make a choice or to get somewhere where you can go to the potty. Um, but yeah, I hope you liked my little TED talk about the peas and the poops inside the diapers. Um, it's been a little while since I had a proper poop talk, so you know, it was, it was due. It was due. Um, <laughs> I, I, Love you all, and I promise to talk about something less gross next time. Bye-bye, <laughs> everybody.